Hello, YouTube family. Welcome to Faith Lock Life on my channel. I talk about sister locks and all things natural, but today is going to be an impromptu video. I was guided to do a Christmas message. I hope that everyone is having a Merry Christmas thus far and enjoying their holiday seasons with friends and family. Um, however, I just wanted to talk about this because there has just been this uptick, this just really, really high level of uh, things going on lately, whether it is with, you know, the sicknesses that are still going on, the big C. Um, I know some folks who have recently been dealing with that and I wish them well. I um, hope everything is okay with their family and that they're still able to enjoy themselves. Um, there are still people during this holiday, people think of it as a, always a joyous time, but it's not always a joyous time for everyone. This could be a time for depression, a time for anxiety for lots of people. There are a lot of people out here who don't have family and friends to, um, you know, go and share with and, you know, love on with and have some laughs and giggles and just, you know, and sit around and do what some are able to do. And I think we need to think about that and remember that those folks are still out here. A lot of uh, people are doing different things because of things that are happening in their lives. People are actually taking their lives. Um, people are getting killed and murdered. Um, for just various reasons, and it's, it's and I really uh, contribute that to a lot that is going on. Um, one of which is uh, the latest one being uh, Stephen Twitch boss, that uh, the DJ and dancer that was on the Ella DeGeneres show. That really just took me by surprise. I mean, seriously, took me by surprise. And look at he committed suicide, and one would think that he had everything to live for. He always had a smile on his face. He was married, had children. He had this wonderful job. It seemed as though everybody loved him but yet and still whatever it is he was going through he still felt as though there was no way out not even talk to talk to his own wife you know I still think of Shanquella the girl uh, that went to Mexico with her six friends and she never made it back home and it's because her so-called friends was dealing with envy and jealousy they didn't know how to deal with their own emotions and feelings towards what they felt towards this girl they did not um you know they just could not work out their feelings um uh, where they were just dealing with things inside about their selves so it really wasn't about the girl it was about their own insufficiencies and their own um insecurities about themselves that led them to ultimately kill this young beautiful uh, lady and it's really really sad um, you know and then uh, I also heard about the guy was the, the rapper from the Migos takeoff and you know look at him just being in the wrong place just still you know you elevating yourself and getting to where you need to be but then you still think that you can go back and hang out with the you know still go back into these same old environments and around these same old people that you have elevated yourself from not that you're better than these people but it's just point blank period it has it has been proven over and over again you cannot stay where they're the uh, um you know a crab a barrels type of mentality after you have elevated from that place it just doesn't work anymore. There's no way you can be in harmony and peace with people that are suffering and then watching someone who they see as having more and living a, um, you know, in a way that is less stressful than they are living. They just aren't able to deal with that. So we have to be very cognizant about who we're around, who we're allowing in our spaces. And, um, we, you know, we need to stop vetting people and just, um, really, really uh, doing things in the upcoming year. Let's try to do some things in the upcoming year that will better your life, improve your life out here. You know, just have a little bit more kindness, guys. Let's have a little bit more respect and love for each other out here. 
Um, if anybody haven't heard it today, let me be the first one to say, I love you. Let me send some loving energy your way, some healing energy your way. There's a lot of people that just need to be healed out here today. There is a lot, lot of, uh, 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 need for healing and loving today. And I just been called to just send this message out. It's just been heavy on my heart because so many people are just being affected out here. Guys, we're all human beings okay let's just start you know just doing small things it, 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 it could be a compliment it could be checking in on your family and your friends and people that you care about hey how you doing what's going on are you all right are you okay you know let's you know instead of getting on our phones and texting and doing things go ahead and you know go to someone's home and check on them personally in person sit down go have lunch somewhere do something nice for someone someone may need help your older neighbor might need some help shoveling out her her, her driveway or you know or or where she can walk out her door or you know there's all type of things to show somebody that they are not alone and that they don't have to deal with whatever they may be dealing by themselves okay guys this is just a you know it's it's a quick it's a quick quick uh, message of you know let's just have a little more love and you know and I just hope for you know just really really uh, want everyone to be able to be protected out here you know from you know whatever it is that may not uh, be wishing you well um, so just make sure you're keeping all of that in mind guys um, with that I wish that everybody will continue to enjoy the rest of the holiday seasons we have New Year's coming up that's gonna be another night of you know a lot of things happening I usually uh, traditionally just stay home for New Year's I may you know get something that I really enjoy eating I don't know I may have a cocktail that night or whatever and put like uh, I usually watch Times Square watch the ball drop from um, from New York City and just you know bring it in in a safe manner in the comfort of my home so anyways I'm just hoping and wishing that everybody has a safe rest of the holiday seasons um so blessings 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 and as always sharing is caring thank you lock stars and for those who are not lock stars i hope that you may consider to be one of my lock stars and to next time i will see you in the next one see you guys <laughs>